Hi there, Dale here with Open Road Outfitters. In this video, I'm installing an isolating trailer wiring harness on a 2016 Harley Street Glide. The wiring harness and this video apply to other Harley touring bikes like the Ultra, the Road King, the Road Glide, as well as the Tri Glide from model year 2014 to the present. The harness I'm installing is for trailers that have separate brake lights and turn signals commonly called a five-wire system. Current Harleys require three components for that, the sub-harness, a CAN bus signal converter, and the isolator. Installation directions come with each piece. The isolator includes a diagram that shows how all the pieces fit together. I'll be following the path on the diagram that includes the CAN bus converter module. This module splits out the brake signal from the turn signals for the trailer. First, I'll assemble the sub harness, and to do that, I'll attach the colored wires to the corresponding pin numbers that are called for in the documentation. That means I'll connect the yellow wire to the pin labeled number two, the green wire to the pin labeled number three, and so forth. Now I'll put together all the components. First, I'll connect the sub-harness and the CAN bus module with the square 4-pin connectors. The CAN bus module has a black ground wire. I'm going to attach this to the matching black ground wire on the isolator. And then I'll connect together the remaining square 4-pin plugs to put the CAN bus module and the isolator together. So this is the complete system now. The plug and play sub harness will connect to the bike. We'll wire these two power leads to the battery. And the remaining five wires will go out to the trailer. And I'll wire a plug onto those bare ends. To install this on the bike, I'll remove the seat and the plastic battery cover. If you pop out the engine control module and you lift the tab on the front of that battery cover, you can make it release. Then if you remove those remaining connectors that are attached to the battery cover, you can just set it to the side. Open the black six-pin connector that connects the rear lights to the main wiring harness and insert the sub-harness. This might be in different locations depending on your bike. For example, on the Tri-Glide, this connector is located behind the passenger seat. The isolator and the CAN bus module are weather sealed, so they can go anywhere. On Harley touring bikes, there's usually enough room in front of the battery to tuck them up and out of the way. Now I'm going to shorten the power leads and connect them to the battery. I'll attach a ring terminal to the white ground lead. And on the red lead, I'm going to first attach an inline fuse holder and then put on the ring terminal. The white lead goes to the negative battery post and the red lead goes to the positive battery terminal. Now you might notice that I cut a notch out of these ring terminals and that allows me to loosen the bolt on the battery post and slide the terminal into place rather than taking the bolt out. Before I close this up, I like to check the function of the harness to make sure all the circuits are working. So using a test light or a voltmeter, I attach one lead to the white wire, that's the ground, and then I'll check each of the other four wires. I'll check the running light, run the turn signals, and check the brake function. At this point, if you want, you can reinstall the battery cover and put everything into place and put the seat back on. See how easy that was? Piece of cake, I'm telling you. 
Now with these output wires, I like to cut them all to the same length and then strip off a quarter inch or so of insulation. For this job, I'm using butt splice connectors. But if you want, of course, you can solder on your plug for a more permanent solution. I take the plug and the length of wire that's attached to it and measure it out to get it to the length I want and then cut it and strip the wires then attach them to the harness. When you do this, be sure you look at the diagram to confirm which color from the wiring harness is carrying which signal. And don't assume that you can wire the plug on color for color. When you're done, use your test light to give everything a final check and you'll be good to go. If you're in the market for a motorcycle camper or a trailer, hitch or wiring, stop by openroadoutfitters.com for everything you need. And if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we feature more information about motorcycle camping, travel, and more. Till next time, this is Dale for Open Road Outfitters, wishing you many happy journeys.